a presentation on medical tourism at Mountain Health uh, Insurance Company. So we're going to start off with um, asking the question, what is medical tourism? Um, it's also known as health tourism, and it's an industry that's centered around accessing medical care or treatment abroad in other countries. So in essence, it's undergoing expensive invasive um, procedures in countries where high quality, low cost is available. Um, much of it is seen today where the cost of care is too high in one country and they go to another country to receive that care at a lower price or at a faster um, time. Um, and as said, another reason is that to get treatment um, a lot faster than you would in your own home country. So the advantage of medical tourism is it allows for people to receive treatment at a faster um, time as opposed to waiting in a long waiting list. Um, it can lower the cost of treatment considerably from um, your home country where services are going to be more expensive. And some facilities have partnered with medical tourism agencies to allow the patients to access post-treatment checkups. A lot of disadvantages of medical tourism though, however, are um, that it requires a lot of permits and paperwork um, in order to um, apply for this process to receive medical treatment in other countries. Um, different countries have different lists of approved drugs, treatments, and other things that make it hard to um, get the treatment that you need. And follow-up treatments are a major concern because there's different guidelines and procedures from country to country and from hospital to hospital. And in addition to all this, malpractice has serious consequences for the patient's health. So the outlook on medical tourism, uh, where it stands now and where it's going to be in the future. Approximately 16 million people are medical tourists, so 16 million people are receiving treatment um, abroad out of their home country. The market is expected to generate $28 billion in revenue by 2024, with an average annual growth rate of 8.8% in the U.S. alone. The total business of medical tourism is estimated to be worth $36.9 billion, and the USA medical tourists have doubled since 2017. So the growth and value in this industry is mainly because travelers lack um, health insurance and accessibility to treatment, which is an ongoing topic in the USA with um, universal health care and other topics as such. Other reasons are that people seek cheap and fast medical attention. So as we discuss the disadvantages of medical tourism, um, a question stands about what ethical and legal issues arise for medical tourism. And a couple of them are that quality of care is questionable because the standard of grading um, is different in different countries and in different um, hospitals. There's lack of adequate follow-up after returning to home countries. Medical tourism uh, negatively affects equity and access to healthcare for poor people and disadvantage in that home country where the provider is. Um, as mentioned earlier, treatment may be legal in some countries, yet illegal in others. Um, a couple legal ones are that the lack of legal recourse and accountability for malpractice or uns unsatisfactory medical treatment. And finally, there's a uh, lack of regulation and uniform law and guidelines to protect patients because um, care happens abroad in different countries with different laws and regulations. So how does the standard of care compare? With medical tourism, there's no standard to getting um, high-graded treatment since the guidelines for accreditation differ from country to country. The level of medical facilities um, also can vary from hospital to hospital. And what is deemed high quality in one country may be low quality in another country due to the, as mentioned earlier, the um, different grading treatments and standards across country to country. So in order to fix this, a potential solution could be to have one basic worldwide um, accreditation system um, applicable to all countries to determine the quality of treatment provided by medical providers in different countries. So here at Mountain Health, what are our goals and objectives? Um, also the objectives of our ethics advisory group. The goal of Mountain Health, which is a nonprofit health insurance company, is to improve the health of society by providing affordable and safe treatment to everybody. We have partnered with um, the Ethics Advisory Group to increase the company's capacity to identify and address ethical issues, as mentioned earlier, affecting all dimensions of health policy plan and operations.
and our hope here is to offer low price health insurance product that included overseas providers for certain diagnostic tests and procedures. So the question could arise that if they don't cover some or all of the overseas care and an employee comes back with complications, how should this be handled? We're here at Mountain Health, uh, there's gonna be included as travel insurance and the option to get that. Um, travel insurance usually penalizes people for pre-existing conditions, but in the case of this, with all the ambiguity and things that go on with um, healthcare abroad with the different standards, malpractice, and different things as such, um, it covers you in the case of traveling for surgery and products that seek to protect you from complications and any um, negative issues that may arise from this. So our closing statements here at Mountain Health. Um, with medical tourism growing exponentially, there's a need to furnish and strengthen this new industry that's come abroad. With a lot of legal, ethical, and other issues arising, Mountain Health is committed to fixing these problems and protecting the health of people receiving treatment. So by utilizing one accreditation system worldwide, providing travel insurance to protect treatment seekers and lowering prices to receive treatment, the medical tourism industry can take a step in the right direction and here at Mountain Health, with our leadership, we're going to make this possible.